Hey everybody, Mike Naso here from IPR365.com and PodWeather.com with an update on the tropics. Still a few days away from the official start of hurricane season 2009 in the Atlantic Basin, but we do have an interesting feature to talk about, and this is Invest Area 90L, and it is sitting right here in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico, and it is showing a little bit more life today, and there is a chance that uh, before it moves inland along the uh, northeastern Gulf Coast, it could become a tropical depression, uh, perhaps a uh, storm, but again, it's going to be very, very tricky to see how long it's over water and whether or not it's able to get a name. Uh, the visible satellite imagery at this hour as the sun goes down here in the Gulf of Mexico, you can see clearly there is rotation there and we are beginning to see the thunderstorm activity burst just a little bit more there towards the end. You can see a good burst of convection. Again, the wind shear is unfavorable and certainly there is dry air which I'll show you in a moment and the water temperatures are meager at best so we're not expecting anything more than uh, if development occurred nobody would be expecting anything more than a minimal tropical storm and that would be about the stretch of it if anything happens as the sun sets you can see it was trying to curl up there but not even really one definitive well-defined circulation and we're gonna wait and see if it's still out over water tomorrow morning and it's looking as interesting as uh, this the Air Force is gonna fly out and see what's going on with it nevertheless heavy rainfall is the main threat from the system and uh, as we look at the radar here in the uh, Gulf Coast area you can see a good good bit of thunderstorm activity just offshore moving on towards Mobile, Pensacola and uh, Gulfport you got a good band of weather stretching here and again severe weather could be in any of these bands and you can see uh, scattered thunderstorms all around the uh, low pressure that this system has been encompassed by as uh, it was left behind and uh, kind of became a subtropical type low and it's finally starting to lose that massive upper level low look and it's looking a little bit more uh, tropical but again nothing uh, certainly anything more than a tropical storm uh, would be totally out of the question it looks like again more rainfall heading up through the state of Alabama here some good rainfall rates as it pushes on up now where exactly the system goes the model guidance on it has it generally moving northwestward uh, you can see this orange model here this is climatology the clip you'll see this throughout hurricane season and generally it'll look like an outlier because it's kinda just saying what climatology says uh, these storms would do uh, the uh, GFDL model the H wharf and uh, the GFS as well as the no gaps all take the uh, low pressure generally towards the uh, Mississippi, Mississippi Delta region and uh, the coastline of extreme eastern Louisiana However, uh, it won't really matter with a landfall because we're not talking about an eye wall or uh, any type of situation like that to where we would have to be worried about that. You can see where uh, a lot of the models show it heading up towards Missouri and uh, could cause some heavy rainfall. Again, how much rain is still yet to be seen. You can see the rain rates out there in the Gulf of Mexico are pretty impressive out there just south of the Florida Panhandle. And again, this will all be moving in as our tropical disturbance moves inland uh, over the next 24 36 hours again here's the water vapor imagery and you can see there's a lot of dry air but then there's a lot of moist air just on the uh, northern edge of it and that is why we've been seeing it burst and uh, definitely showing some signs of bursting if it's going to try and become a uh, depression or storm it's doing its best considering the unfavorable conditions it has Again, there's the uh, entire uh, lower 48, at least the uh, eastern half of it, and there's our system down there. Again, pretty skimpy convection, not really a uh, impressive uh, burst, but still more impressive than we've seen over the last 24 hours. And uh, again, you could definitely tell how moist it is up here and how dry it is, bone dry, in the Gulf of Mexico. Again, this should all continue up generally in this direction over the next 24 hours, and Everybody here at IPR, keep an eye on it just in case uh, it does become our first name storm, which of course would be Anna this year. Here's the Eastern Pacific just to show you the hurricane season started less than 10 days ago, and we have had this interesting feature that was looking a bit uh, like it might try and develop into something. The GFS computer model was showing this actually becoming a hurricane and riding into Mexico and then heading into the Atlantic Basin. 
however, that has kind of backed off, and uh, we are no longer seeing that in the models, and this is not showing uh, much sign of life, but still, it's something to keep an eye on in the East Pack. There is nothing going on in the Western Pacific, so that'll about wrap it up for this time. I'm Mike Naso from IPR365.com. Check us out. Also, stay tuned to podweather.com.